Hey YouTube, welcome to a FPS boosting tutorial on Minecraft. Now, I'm going to explain three ways in how to increase your FPS from your Minecraft game to make it less laggy. One, uh, download this program called Game Booster. Uh, it really helps a lot for me, so if you're on Windows 7 it will come up this and just click yes and then open it up and do stuff like this and then it's made by Razor, right? And this is what it looks like initializing, ellipsis, and then the Razor logo. I'll put all the links in the descriptions for all the stuff I'm going to be using. Right, and then it'll come up this. Uh, I. No. Oh, oh, I need to update it anyways. Right, anyway, um, so as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. The default games and Dota 2. Uh, all you need to do is click add, then get your location of your Minecraft. Means on my desktop. No, it's not actually. I'll just unpin it. Mm, cancel Minecraft. .exe. There it is. Right, and then just drag it in. And then it'll say Minecraft.exe. Click that. Launch it. Razor game is boosting the Razor game booster is long boosting your game. And then it'll come up this. And then just log in. Right, so. That's that done. Now there's a mod. That, then once you've came out of your Minecraft, it will say Razor Game Booster is restoring to default. Right. There's a mod for your Minecraft to FPS FPS boost it again. Uh, the the program I use to install mods is MC Patcher 3.0.2 underscore 01 for Minecraft 1.5.2. This is the default bit. So if I'll put the link in the description for this as well. You click on the plus, and then it'll come up all this. It only works with .zip files, as as you can see, it's up for find .zip. Uh, so let me just find it. Desktop, up to find .zip. As you can see, that's a folder. That's a file. Click on the file. Click open, and then it'll just see all the class files and stuff like that. Just click OK, then click patch, and then if there's any config config with uh, no, 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 not config, sorry. Confliction with the two mods, it will see it. And just to see if it works, click Test Minecraft. And then if it works and it comes up all this crap, yeah, then that's it working. So let me just come out of that. So that's me got Optifine. Right, here's, uh, once I'm opening my Minecraft, I'll just log in. And then I'll just get all my stuff. I'll just wait for it to load up. Single player, um, FPS testing. FPS test. Right, just wait for it to load up. Right here, as you can see, it's a bit laggy when I get in, but I have a the the main thing for you need a good computer for it, and this is only if you don't have a really good computer. I'm I'm in a Intel i5 core processor with eight gig of RAM. That's pretty good. Right, so first you go into options, and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. Go into the video settings, there's a lot more stuff than there usually is. First, if you're just started using Minecraft, you're, um, there's a thing called VSync. If I were you, I'd turn that off and I'd put your render distance to short plus 32, which is 64, but add 32, it's just under normal. Um, the extreme, I can barely use that. I run 30 FPS on extreme, that's you need like a really extremely good computer. I sometimes run far but I usually go normal. And then you just go into your quality, you just uh, just put it on fancy, you can just fit, change all the settings to see which uh, lag does with you, which, which is best for you. So once you've done all that and you've run it on, oh lag spike, my Minecraft has crashed. Not a good start. Anyways, uh, hang on a minute. Control delete. It's the task manager. Services. No wait. Processes. Java.exe and process and process. Right, that's that. Uh, then once you've run it with Game Booster as well, that should stop a bit of lag. But there's also one other way to save. Uh, speed up your Minecraft. As you can see, once you've opened your Minecraft, go into the task manager. If you're I'm not sure what it is on Mac, but on Windows it's control, left shift and the escape key. The escape key. As you can see, right, it will be on default. 
uh, applications. As you can see, I'm using Fraps to record, and I've got my Minecraft launcher opened, and I don't know why I just opened Tumblr. Um, maybe I clicked Tumblr. Anyways, uh, so go to Processes, and scroll down to java.exe, J-A-V-A-W dot E-X-E. Uh, then left-click it, and then it should, should say Set Priority. As you can see, it's normal right now. If your computer can handle it, select it on real time. But if not, as you can see, it will come up this. Ch change the priority of java.exe. Change the priority of certain process. Cause your system to insta instability. Change priority. Unable to set priority to real time. That's what it says. If you can't use real time, that it will just set it to high instead. So that that is an FPS booster as well. If there's any other stuff that you think will help, and I'll put it in a different video because I'll be doing this every update for Minecraft 1.6, 1.7, 2.0, and stuff like that. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and make so more people can view it and stuff like that. So thank you for watching YouTube. Uh, leave a comment if you found this helpful. Subscribe if you want more because me and Steven, this isn't just a one person channel.